Hello, user testing community. It is Mike McDowell once again from the Solutions Consulting team here at User Testing, back with the latest tip of the week. Today, I want to talk to you about quantitative usability testing. Up until now, as long as I can remember, we've always talked about qualitative usability research and the re the uh, formula that you need five participants, and that will give you about 85% of the serious usability problems with any application. And that's still true. But people are starting to want more statistically significant results and to get into that quantitative uh, area when it comes to their research. And so you can do that with user testing now. But why couldn't you do it in the past, you're going to ask me. Well, the reason is that the limiting factor was time. We could always record 20 or 30 videos and put those people through a usability study, but we didn't have the time to watch those videos to pull out the insights. It's the same as running moderated studies. Moderated studies are being moved away from, you know, in a large percentage of cases because they take a lot of time. And so now you'll know from a lot of these tips of the week that I've done in the past that the instant insights on the metrics tab will give you um, the ability to zero right into the critical things that you need. And so here we're looking at a visualization in this uh, keyword map for five participants, but if it was 50 participants, it would still look just like this. We would see just bigger circles, more people saying the words, and perhaps a few more outliers. But this allows us to drill right into these outliers and see exactly what's going on. Now, you'll notice that I chose Hallmark Movies Now for this particular tip of the week. Um, you know, we're in the thick of it. It's the holiday season. I've got green and red on today uh, just for a, a little bit, uh, bring myself some early Christmas cheer. Um, happy Hanukkah if you celebrate Hanukkah. I know Hanukkah is going on right now. Um, but if we want to uh, look at this one comment, the word is predictable. Spend just a moment giving us your thoughts on Christmas movies. Well, Christmas movies are nothing if not predictable, right? That's the way that's the way we like them. We want them to have a happy ending. The wish comes true. The kid gets the present and saves the holiday. Um, but if this was something else, we would be seeing this negative, uh, this one bit of negative feedback as an outlier that we can watch. Same thing goes through our interactive path flows. You've got your five participants here. If we go up to 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 even, we, yeah, we're going to see some a lot of uh, a lot more path flows here, but then our instant insights panels will start to really pop. And these correlations up here will start to become a lot stronger. With five or six people, the correlations are great, but you know they're not statistically significant. As you start running your quantitative studies, you're going to see these insights making a lot more sense and being a lot more predictive uh, in truth to what is going to happen on your site. So how many people do we need for a study? Well, fortunately, Nielsen Norman Group has gone ahead and they published this article at the end of July. Um, I saw it the day it came out and I was like, this is perfect because it tells you exactly how many people you need. And you'll just see here in the summary, 40 participants is an appropriate number for most quantitative studies, but there's cases where you can use fewer. If you scroll down, all the information you need is in this article. Uh, you can see the URL right here or you can just Google it. So. If I take my study and I say, all right, I'm going to go quantitative on this. Now, I did a great qualitative study, but I want to go more. All I have to do is go to my sessions tab and then say add participants. And I can just go here and scroll up. You know, let's say I want to get it to that, th that 40 number. So I'm going to put it at 35 and I can just hit add participants and it will instantly reissue the uh, this test out for for taking uh, by the user testing uh, contributor network. So it's just that easy to start doing quantitative usability research on top of your qualitative usability research to start having even more confidence in those great results that you've been getting with user testing or your own research that you've been doing on the side. So uh, I really hope to see some more larger scale studies out there being done. Uh, I look forward to, you know, maybe hearing about some of your insights on uh, one of our uh, hug sessions. I had a great, was a great one this morning. Uh, but until next time, uh, this has been Mike McDowell with the latest tip of the week.